Oh my god, uh, I actually have been invited somewhere where I can actually wear this costume that I've been making that I had nowhere to wear and it's in like three days. So I need to make some more bits, urgently. Hello, it's Icy. Yes, oh my god. Um, okay. This is what you get for not checking your email every day. So, um, I've been invited to a party for the launch of the High Isle chapter of The Elder Scrolls Online, which is the game I play all of the time. I stream for it, I do a bunch of things. Do check out uh, the other YouTube channel um, where I, I do stuff about that. But, on the follow-up note that came yesterday at some point, uh, it said come in smart casual, which I've been making the check skirt to wear because I thought that would be cool, or medieval style costume. And I went, oh my God, because I read this email this morning. Um, so, uh, after a quick Twitter poll <laughs> with a resounding response was, oh my God, yes, particularly from the person who's organizing it, uh, I will be wearing my costume, at least parts of it. So I'll be wearing the new skirt that I've just made, but black side out, because the shape of that is so good for this. Uh, I will be wearing the corset. Uh, I'll be wearing multiple layers of shirts underneath it because it's a harbor cruise, uh, I think. So it's bound to be extremely cold on the water in Sydney Harbor. Uh, I will be wearing the pauldrons, uh, the gorget and the hood, which are currently on the bed in the bedroom because I have been playing dress ups all morning to try and work out what looks good and what doesn't. I will actually also still be wearing the matrix coat because I can wear it just as the coat on the way. However, what I can actually do is take it off and then just use the waist, tuck all the rest of the, sh like the arms and stuff underneath and then just use the waist button and then basically put it around my waist like an overskirt. Uh, and then it looks fine. Or if it's cold, I can just wear like the, the pauldrons and the hood over top of the coat. So I'm gonna go with that. That should be fine. I'm still gonna wear the chunky boots uh, that I was going to be wearing before if I was going kind of grunge goth. Um, but, uh, I need a few other things. So, um, in the previous videos, you would have seen the mannequin had some belts on it, which are ugh, these ones here, which I've just kind of looped through each other. Now I bought these because I actually wanted the buckles. I was actually going to make my own belts to go with this. I do not have time for that now. Uh, not to say that I won't come back and do that later. So the belt, what that needs is, I basically need Mr. Icy to put like a, a, a pop rivet to hold the front together uh, because this kind of flappy floaty stuff is not working. Um, and that way it should sort of sit on my hips quite sturdily. Um, so that's part one. Part two is um, with the medieval hood uh, and an N95, sort of mask that gives sort of a quite a circular shape. It looks exactly like some of the armor from the actual ESO game. It looks like a, a member of the Dark Brotherhood Assassins and all the Thieves Guild. Um, so I better take a dagger. <laughs> so what I'm going to do is borrow Miss Icy's foam dagger that she made uh, with Mr. Icy. At some point I'm going to make my, I have a, I have a giant sword uh, that Mr. Icy made for me. It's too big, it's like a big two-handed sword. So daggers is the way to go. So green, that's fine. It's like poison. It's a poison dagger, dark, brother, dark brotherhood. Works perfectly, but the brown doesn't work. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to make um, a sheath out of the same kind of uh, plastic placemats I've been making the other kind of leather out of. Uh, and I'll just um, wrap, the, uh, wrap the hilt with some cotton, black cotton tool tape that I've got, which will take care of the brown. And that way I can remove it later and she goes back to having her, like her dagger. Um, so that should be fine. It also doesn't weigh anything and it's actually small enough, I 
think pretty sure let me actually probably just fit this inside my little handbag that I'm going to take uh, until I get there uh, and then I can add it to the costume if I'm wearing the coat over top of everything else you probably can't tell so I think it's okay actually the little backpack that I'm taking um, there's like a cross between a backpack and a handbag and it's triangular and it actually looks great it really sort of melds in so it's fine um, now the last thing I need to make is something to put my phone in or some sort of on like belt bag that goes on the belt uh, now what I found I will probably make something better later but as all this has to be done in well I don't have any more time like today this evening yes it's midday basically so I'm gonna be streaming for the next four hours and Miss Icy has some friends coming around to do a group project so not I can't start anything till after dinner so I have to basically just like wing this whole thing uh, and then the same tomorrow tomorrow is also very busy um, sort of four hours of a stream uh, the morning's taken up with a uh, soccer game for Miss Icy and then I've just got the evening and then Monday is basically an all day stream and then Monday evening is very busy. So, and then Tuesday is the launch day for the Elder Scrolls Online new chapter. So I will have to stream that day, even if maybe the other days I can finish early or whatever. So we'll see how we go. Anyway, little wallet thingy. It's actually a, uh, like a travel thingy I'm not even sure I've had this for years and years and years uh, do you know what I think it is I think it might be a palm pilot case anybody else that old no uh, so what I'm gonna do is um, I will add some side walls to the bottom I'll add some straps uh, some loops basically uh, at the back so the belt can be fed through and then I'm recording on the phone but this is the phone case so as you can see that sits in there like that so there's the phone case and then just it's got velcro to hold it shut but that should be fine the other thing I can use is um, the silvering uh, like the decorative silver stuff that I've got uh, that I use for the neck piece um, I've still got heaps of like heaps of the plastic bits so I will use some of that and maybe decorate this. Uh, the extra sheath that I make for the knife, I might do the same. Uh, and the one other thing I might make if I have time, it'll be a short job, so it'll be fine, is I'll use some of that as well. Perhaps just to make some um, cuffs, some just like super simple cuffs, uh, as opposed to the full kind of like uh, arm armor that I've made previously, which will probably be too big and awkward to kind of get in and out of the city with a really small bag. I'm not worried about the pauldrons because they're cloth and they're just clipped onto the neck piece. I actually just take those off and shove them in the bag, put them on when I need them. I cannot tell you how excited I am at the thought that I could actually wear this costume somewhere. So, it's going to be a very busy, hopefully enjoyable couple of days. Uh, join me on the journey.
well all of these worked pretty well uh, I did in fact wear them on my night out uh, was I the only person in costume no actually there was one other person <laughs> out of about 25 people it was fine I relished the chance um, so uh, things I would do differently so what I'm gonna need to do is I'm actually going to need you can see there's a little break in the plastic here so what I'm gonna need to do is actually put the same bias binding that's around the top around the bottoms as well and also on the actual neck piece up there um, there's there's one little um, break as well so I'm gonna have to reinforce all of those I mean to be honest that was pretty obvious and I probably should have just done that in the first place when I was sewing all of those things but it's okay uh, there's no downside to doing it now um, and I'll just like do like a little hand stitch just to link the two bits together and then just reinforce a lot of them and it's fine uh, the mask cover worked really well these are super simple to make uh, jazz up your N95 masks um, or as I say KN95 mask literally just fold it in half trace around the fold done uh, put some edging on it there's quite a lot of um, tutorials on the internet most of those are actually double layer uh, which I didn't want to do because I only need it for decoration on the outside I don't need it for like irritation on the inside of the mask or anything so yeah this way I've now got three of these in various shades of red and black <laughs> which works really really well um, so that worked uh, the belt uh, system worked really well um, if, I, if I can I should have taken it off before I started recording the video that would have been a would have been a super great idea uh, so the way I ended up joining these together as you would have seen from the video was I literally very noisy um, I got Mr. Icy to punch some extra belt holes and then I found this is a I bought this yeah ages and ages ago this is literally a zip tie um, not a zip tie a, a zipper like replacement thing that you can put on the end of your zippers to make them look fun a zipper pull a decorative zipper pull but as a like as a link between the two belts through the existing belt holes yeah, it's actually kind of perfect um, I would still give it a chance which I might still do I don't know if I'll do a video I, I would actually like a to remake the belts out of leather myself uh, because these are these like straight but they would be really much more fitted they would work better if they were actually curved so they actually sat flat across the hips rather than sort of sticking out but for something I needed to put together in three days perfect uh, the knife sheath worked uh, great it was perfect I had to actually replace the strap on the back I just put like a little vertical one uh, with not a lot of give room or wiggle room and then I put it on the belt and realized oh oh I can't like adjust the angle of how this sits at all uh, to get it out of the way while I'm putting on a coat or a jacket or walking or sitting down or getting myself stuck on sides of doors so I cut that off um, and then used the other piece and sewed it on. Then after I sewed it on, I realized I'd sewn it on the wrong way around. So I cut it off again and then sewed it back on, which is why that's gray <laughs> instead of black. Cause I had to switch it like mirror, do the mirror. Anyway, it's fine. Uh, Miss Icy's knife works beautifully. Thank you, Miss Icy. But I believe I need to make my own now or get Mr. Icy to make me my own either way. Either way is fine. The converted, uh, what I think this was, organizer pouch, travel document pouch thingy, probably that once had a Palm Pilot in it. I am that old. Uh, worked really well. So it's exactly the right size for my mobile phone. The business, like I'm deliberately wanted to keep these business case thingies here uh, because um, I might use this at PAX Australia. In fact, 
after wearing this lot, realizing that it actually looks fabulous, it's actually not hard to wear and it all ties together really simply and also it will pack in a suitcase really, really well. I am now considering whether I want to take all of this to PAX Australia as well and maybe go in costume to that convention on some of the days as nominally a Dark Brotherhood assassin from the Elder Scrolls Online because the hood plus the mask, I tell you, I tell you, it looks exact. Uh, so, ooh, it's good. Now, one thing that I missed dreadfully on the jacket, which is hiding over there, uh, the, the Matrix jacket, which I wore with the whole outfit over top um, and the whole thing. And in fact, if you want to see a final look and like a whole little thing about the night out I had, I will link a video in the corner and in the description so you can see the adventure. Uh, but there were no pockets in the jacket because in order to keep the beautiful line of the jacket, I decided I didn't like the kind of the pockets I'd tried to put in originally, which is the whole point of making like a second, a second skirt out of the leftovers. Uh, no, I need pockets. I need them desperately. My hands were freezing. Uh, I kept wanting to put my hands into pockets the whole time. So I will have to have a think and work out some way of putting pockets into that jacket. Additionally, uh, the skirt that I wore, which is the reversible check one side, uh, gray check one side, black on the other, like super cool skirt. And it worked perfectly and it was exactly the right look. It fitted with the whole thing and the look and the corset and the belt and the costume. So good. Also, could really use some pockets. Um, I do have an idea of how to put pockets into a reversible skirt. Uh, so yeah, so I'll have to have a little think. It involves some tricky engineering. This is this is kind of like a, a workaround, uh, which was fine and it was okay, but it's not like I'm going to be wearing a fantasy belt arrangement with pouch and dagger all of the time when I'm just popping out to the shops or something and just need a pocket. So I believe you may consider me to have learned my lesson with regards to pockets and the lack thereof. What I was thinking, I don't know. I'm just going to have to, they got, they got to happen <laughs> absolutely in the jacket. The jacket completely needs them. Uh, the skirt would be really, really good if they did. Uh, but the jacket completely needs it because if you're wearing a jacket, it's probably cold and you probably want to put your hands in the pockets. You know, that's just a given, I think. So this was, this was a fast, short sewing project that I'm now recording this final video like five days after, <laughs> after the project finished because it's been busy. Uh, but I'm really happy with how the whole costuming thing is going. Uh, it's been wildly satisfying. I've absolutely loved it. The fact I actually got to wear it somewhere as opposed to simply making it and having it sit on my dress form as a background in videos, which <laughs> seemed to be the inevitable uh, fate of, of this, as was awesome. Uh, so I need to finish off. The next part of the project is the actual kind of armor kind of bit of it. Um, what I wore was great, it looked fantastic, it would look much cooler with an actual armor piece. Will I, that's probably the piece that will be the most optional if I decide that I'm doing, <laughs> I've realized I've made like a capsule wardrobe of armor, which to be honest is what I've got, oh, I was going for but didn't actually quite have the phrase for it. So, uh, so the next stage is yet yeah, to actually make the armor type stuff. Uh, then I need to work out if I want to make any more weapons or jewelry, you know, the dagger, you know, whatever, that, that kind of thing I need to, that's probably, the, 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 that might even be the last project, uh, the last video for this project. There are many, I have many plans, I have many plans in my head for various things I want to make. Oh, uh, 
there will be a corset, like a proper one. Um, there will be various sorts of Edwardian slash Victorian stuff made. It's very exciting. Uh, but thank you very much for joining me here. Uh, I appreciate it. Uh, if you are doing any sewing or any other crafty type uh, physical with your hand or digital projects, let me know what they are in the comments. I am always interested to see what crafty stuff people do. It's really inspiring. So yeah, please let me know what you're up to in the comments. Uh, if you haven't, please do subscribe here on YouTube. That would be very appreciated. Uh, and you can find me over on the socials uh, or links in the description. Uh, also appreciate any followers there as well. Thank you very much for watching and I will talk to you next time.